Hello everyone, this is Cynthia with VSG's Limousine and today is February 1st, 2017. I almost say it's 2015 for some reason, I'm going crazy. Uh, I'm coming to you with weeks uh, 7 and 8. Uh, I had every intent to do this as a weekly update, but some things out of ordinary happened and uh, I was unable to but I do hope to continue to do this weekly um, because you know I want to share with you guys how everything is going I want to do this for future reference to how I'm feeling things that are happening uh, so I hope that I'll go back to the weekly um, let me just start with my stats very quickly um, and some things happen in between and I think they affect my weight too and then I'm gonna explain what happened um, I started my pre-op diet at 210 pounds I'll be looking into my notes here um, so that was in November 22nd when I started my pre-op diet um, by my surgery day I was at 199.4 um, last week on week six, I was at 187.4. Uh, it was my first gain. gain. <laughs> it was my first gain. Uh, it was not very significant. Uh, it was just two ounces, but it was, I saw. Um, I know everybody said, stop comparing yourself to other people. I know it's easier <laughs> said than done. It's hard uh, when you're seeing people losing 20 30 pounds and me by week six I had lost just 12 pounds so it was okay I still you know have lost 12 pounds in six weeks but at the time I was just comparing but I'm totally fine as of now because you guys will see what happened with week seven and eight um, I went um, well, first of all, and I'll say very soon how much I'm waiting right now, but I live in Texas and as most of you know, it just almost never snows here. Um, so I had promised my kids last year, since it didn't snow last year either, say, okay, I promise you guys we're going to see snow next winter. And lo and behold, it comes the winter. And I won't say that it did not snow. It did snow one day, but it was during school time and it melted in about five minutes. So there was no snow. So I found some very, very extremely good fares uh, to Denver. Um, so we did a back and forth very quickly. We left on a Saturday and came back on Monday and we went to Winter Park in Colorado uh, and saw a ton of snow. So my kids are, uh, they're so excited. It was so much fun to see them. So we did a lot, a whole lot of tubing uh, over there for two days, nonstop almost. So it was a whole lot of fun, but then what happened? So again, week six, I was at 187.4. I had just gained two ounces. Week seven, uh, I was at 185.2. So I had lost 2.2 pounds. I was very happy. And then Colorado happened. And I had no idea how that week was going. First, I was like, I was super excited because during doing tubing and nice skating and all that out you know I was I felt like I was losing a lot of calories because I was like without breath most of the time so I was like wow this I'm doing a lot of exercising here but in the other hand I ate in restaurants three days in a row so I try to make the best possible choices but you know when you're not cooking your food it can go either way um, I had a beer one day, I had a couple glasses of wine the other day, and eating restaurants, that made me a little bit nervous. But then what happened? So I weigh in on week eight, and I was at 180.8, so I lost 4.4 pounds. 
last week, um, this week on week eight, and I haven't lost four pounds or more since week two. So that is like amazing. And I'm so happy that I'm almost into the 170s. I know this may sound crazy or ridiculous, but uh, in my mind, 170s, that's my first goal to be back on that general area of the 170s. And then 150 will be my next goal. Um, talking about 170s, 150s and, and all that, one thing that I wanted to talk about, I have heard, you know, a lot of, in a lot of videos, especially people that have had the surgery uh, for quite some time, one, two years, that, um, of course, before the surgery, food was their addiction. And after the surgery since you can't have that amount of food of course you can still think a lot about it and we all do uh, but people will start putting their energy and focusing on other things uh, something some people on good things they start let's say exercising walking whatever that is uh, some other people start with bad um, habits like some people start drinking some people start gambling or whatever that is so I'm having a weakness now <laughs> I want to share with you guys because I feel it's so so ridiculous that I need to put a stop on this right away but I can't stop looking to clothes it's just crazy so what happens what happened is on the first month uh, after the surgery, I went to my closet and there's just so many clothes there. It was hard to get one piece of clothing because there's just so, so much. And it's not that I'm a person that just buy all these clothes. Uh, that's not what happened. It's because I had clothes from when I was at my lowest ever clothes that I carry since I was a teenager and I, I'm going to be 40 this year, but uh, I had those clothes that I hope to feel to fit on day. So from the 140s, the 150s, 160s, 170s, 80s, 90s, and up to the 210. So <laughs> there is every single size you can ever imagine I had. So I say, okay, this, this is ridiculous because, you know, when you go out and you, you feel like you have nothing to wear, it's because it, it was just so confusing, all the sizes all together. So I decided to do three piles. I put one pile of clothes that fit me right now, which was the extra large and one X, some two X. Uh, then I made another pile of clothes that um, I, I put this number in my head, like when I'm 175, 170-ish, I made a pile of clothes that I know it will fit because I was on that uh, weight for two, three years. So I think I have a good amount of clothes that will fit me during that time. And then I make a big pile of clothes from the clothes that I had for years that it's on my head when I hit the one, 55, 150, those clothes are going to wear. And I put all in boxes and I, I, I put them away. So then I ended up with this very limited amount of clothes that actually fit me right now. Um, and of course, when you start losing weight, some, you know, some things that are very tight, they start fitting better and you get all excited and you just want to try new things, right? So... That's my addition. I can't stop looking at, at clothes. Uh, of course, it's not that I go and, and buy every clothes, but I can't stop looking in the internet. And I look into them and I keep imagining myself wearing them and it's just out of control. And of course, I buy a few of them, not all of them, obviously. Um, and sorry um but that's just 
just something that I have to stop with. So, and I know I'm backed up on going on looking at everybody's videos. Uh, that's something that I should probably focus on and I'll look into everybody's experiences and, um, and stop with this. But it's just something that has been happening on, on the last month or so. But I want you to share with me. Uh, is there any crazy things that are not crazy things? Where is your mind going to right now that maybe you're trying not to focus on food only and trying to focus on other things? I know I have heard somebody, I think it was Brit Brad, that was saying that some people like to look at food even though we're not able to eat all this food they just keep looking into recipes and and you know i don't know so isn't this just crazy i i our mind is truly amazing you know that that's what i keep thinking but anyway um that's what's happening to me lately that i have to stop with um and focus on something else. Changing subjects. I hit a hundred plus subscribers. I am just out of this world. Uh, out of, I'm flattered. Uh, I'm thankful. I have had so many amazing comments that truly helped me. And uh, this way I get to know all of you as well. So thank you. I do want to give do the giveaway like you know i said i would do if i hit that so i'm gonna do uh i want to send something special to one or two of you uh so you have to subscribe uh leave me a comment uh it doesn't have to be a question if you do have a question for me that's crazy that's crazy that's good because that's something that i can talk about in my other videos uh if you have any questions whatever that is but you don't have to but you do have to leave a comment uh, so I know you know that you're interested in entering this um, and I'll be back on next week uh, with that and so this is it for this week I'm, I'm just like hoping I'll be on the 170s but if not that'll be fine because not in a million years i was thinking i was gonna lose a four pounds in a week like now on, on week eight so i'm just thankful i'm very happy uh, my clothes are starting to feel better i'm just over the moon so again comes back to that thing having a vsg is uh one of the best things that i have i could have done for myself so that's it and i see you guys next week thanks again for watching